Hi guys, so welcome back to another video of Universal Yums, and we have a special guest, Grandma. And let's get picking. What what country are we still doing? Italy. That's right. All right. We... Which one first? Ooh, oh, that yeah. one. Wait, wait. We forgot. I forgot. Savory first. Okay, I think that's literally the last savory. I think all the rest of them, maybe that one. That's savory. Yeah, and then all Is the rest. Savory? Are sweet. No, that's the cookie. I think. No, we don't. All sweets, I know. Okay, Bummer. I think we have to do these all then, because <laughs> we pick two savory each time. All right, so hold this one up for the camera to see. Ketchup. It's very little. Yeah, ketchup potato chips, an extra crispy take on the classic condiment. 30 years ago, potato chips were scorned in Italy. Without the traditional appeal of tarali or biscotti, they had zero footing in the snack market until best friends Alfredo Marotti and Andrea Romano came along. With the mission of bringing chips to Italy, they started their business, Amica, producing both traditional flavors and totally new ones like ketchup. Before we tell you if they succeeded or not, we think you should try a chip or two. Mm -hmm. They're the number one chip brand in Italy. Oh that was easy. Yeah, just one or two. Three. Perfect. Oh, Thank, Thank you. you. There you go. It smells and tastes like ketchup. Mm. What do you think? Good ketchup flavor. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> It does. It tastes smell. really strong. And you don't taste much of the potato chip. You mostly taste the ketchup. Yep. And that was delicious. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> mm. All right. Which would you like to do next? Last well, savory one. All right, hold it up. We're set it up for everyone to see. Oh my word! There's slides on the back. This mm -hmm. That's a big. Germany. Big can take Italy. Oh, you see that there is a all different kinds of packs. Okay. All right. Fennel seed tarali. Italy's, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, Italy's famous snack with a fennel twist. To kick off a traditional Italian meal, you start with an aperitivo. Guests um, gather to share a light conversation, a glass or two of wine, and a few handfuls of a snack meant to whet their appetites for the more substantial courses to come. These crispy fennel-infused tarali are a delicious example. So let's see. I can, I, I, I know where to open it. I can. Got it. I'm gonna try this again. Having a little issue. Yeah, but here. So, get that. Yeah, oh, I, oh my word. No, you're just destroying the box. <laughs> this is like an impossible. No. And then I have. We've got. That's scissors. my scissors, by the way. Those are mine. No, these are mama's. I use the door. Hey, they're mine. <laughs> no, I was being a smart Alex. All right. Down they go. Grab one for grandma. One for you. Three. One, two, three. All right, thanks. Make my mouth. Hmm. I have no idea what this looks like. But it's good. Mm -hmm. It is good. It, it almost has a sweet flavor to it. Mm -hmm. Like licorice. I was expecting something just savory, but it's a mix of slaver slavery. <laughs> it's a mix of savory and sweet. Mm -hmm. mm. I've had these before, mm. but not that brand. Those flavory. are definitely better than the ones. Mm. What's this? Flavory. <laughs> I was trying to say savory and sweet and it just mm. came out very good. All wrong. Mm. Those are. Mm. I think those much better than the ketchup chips, that's for sure. 
Very unique, very good flavor. Mm. All right. I like ketchup ones better. Mm. Maybe just because they're chips. What is the next choice, Caroline? All right, going for the big things first. Stand it up. Hold it up How many things are we doing? We'll do five. This is number three. All right, I can find it. Four. Okay. Ah, four. Oh. <laughs> it's our like ice, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Italian Amaratini, the tastiest almond cookie in all of Italy. Ready for the world's tastiest love story? The tale behind these classic cookies begins in 1719 Serrano when a young couple overheard that a cardinal from Milan was visiting their church. Wanting to prepare him a treat, they improvised a cookie recipe using just the apricot kernels, sugar, and egg whites they had on hand. The cardinal loved them so much, he blessed the couple to a long and happy union. Not only did they stay happily hitched, but their cookies went on to become an Italian icon. Hmm. Does that mean they have seeds in them? Oh, nope. hey, hey. See that? I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Be careful. It shows, it shows like a little pair of scissors right there. <laughs> so that means cut, not rip. Yep, that's right. Mm, mm. So thick. This is thick. Wait, I have an idea. table gets a bottle of fizzy water. Um, you have to specifically ask for non-fizzy to get still water or regular water. In local markets, shelves overflow with an endless variety of seltzer flavors. So this is a soda one. What? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. I'm going to suck on it for a second and then spit it out because otherwise we'll be here all night waiting for to try another one. So we'll get a plate to, or napkins to whatever folks. It is fizzy, I feel fizzy. Mm -hmm. yep. <laughs> Did you just wrap the back and just pack up? Try any other yams. Mm. We have to spit them out because it also take us all night. Mm -hmm. So what do you think it tastes like? I think it did taste kind of like a lemony Sprite soda thing. It wasn't bad. Mm. I really I want. Fine. Well, after we're done with this video, we're gonna finish these. <laughs> mm. They're so, these are so good. These are good. I know. Okay. So pick one more thing, Caroline. 
Yes. Good. Lemon chocolate. Mm -mm. This is what Daddy's been excitedly waiting for us to finally mm. pick. All right, candied, ooh, it's candied ginger and lemon, dark chocolate. A bit mm. sweet, a bit spicy, deeply decadent. When life mm. gives you lemons, you make lemonade. That's what much of the world will tell you. An Italian might say something a little different. Take those lemons and combine them with ginger. The sweet and spicy flavor is a classic Italian combo used in every kind of recipe you can imagine. Soda, roast chicken, honey cake, candy, and of course, chocolate. Mm. Mm. All right, so here, let me. I, I want to open no, it. No, I can't not do this it. one. I know we can, but we're not. We have to, we can have to cut it, it into four, four yeah, pieces. Yeah, we got to so. cut it into pieces really for everyone. Want it. Mm. Not fair, I never get to eat. Oops. I'm going to open any chocolate. <laughs> okay. So we got to cut it up. Obviously, There's three pieces. A tiny, tiny piece. Like that. Yeah, and that's probably. See? We got to cut it. Oh, oh, that's oh it's a yeah. crunchy one. That sounds good. Oh no. Oh, this has a lot of crunch to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just grab one piece. Yep. Just grab one of these. Thanks. I somehow missed in the description that there was crunchy stuff in here. <laughs> I don't know what the crunchy stuff is. It's crunchy lemon. Mmm. It's crunchy lemon, just like the, the strawberry. I've like. ever eaten. Mmm. Mm. Um. I wouldn't rate it up there with the like Russian mojito one that was like lime chocolate. That was amazing, mint and lime chocolate. But it is interesting. You definitely taste the lemon, and you do get a little bit of the ginger too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not bad, it's just think? different, yeah. What did you think? Um, well, the little chunks mm -hmm. are are like little lemon flavors. Mm, maybe a little lemon and chocolate. candy. Yeah. And I really do taste the lemon, and I don't really taste the ginger, though. Hmm. It wasn't as spicy as I was, you know, the ginger didn't make it as spicy as I it's thought. It's kind of more of an aftertaste. Yeah. yeah. The ginger comes out. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Or do you want to do one more? One more. <laughs> we'll do one more. We got a whole other box we have to get through in the next, like, two it's weeks. It's the holiday box. Wow. So, mm -hmm. wait, one more. Um, um, um. Hmm. It's just not look good. It's carrot and orange. <laughs> okay, don't press on it. Okay. So pick which one. What are Sorry. these? No, I'm not oh, picking them. They're candy. You'd have one, and Grandma would have one, and I'd have one, and Daddy would have one. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that's fine. Just grab it. Okay. All right. So, not opening them. I know, it's pretending. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tiramisu. Oh, tiramisu. Yeah, mm -hmm. tiramisu cream mm -hmm. milk chocolate balls. Oh, my goodness. Every modern Italian restaurant serves tiramisu, but in the early, it's okay, we got three up here. In the early 1960s, it was only served by one, uh, La Beceri in Treviso. According to legend, owner Ada Campiol was recovering from childbirth when she asked the pastry chef to whip her up this pick-me-up. So he combined ladyfingers, mascarpone cheese, and cocoa powder, creating tiramisu which literally means pick me up. The flavor combination became an overnight icon, which you'll get to taste in this luxurious chocolate. Ooh. All right. Yeah. Oh my word. I think I'm gonna cut this in half because I don't think I can eat this much. <gasps> A ball. Thank you. Yeah. I'll just put that right over there. I just cracked my ball open. Oh, that's what it is, just it's like, chocolate. It's like a truffle. Mm. Yeah. Grandma probably won't have to cut it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As bouncing off the walls as you've been, this is mm -hmm. just what you need. Coffee chocolate. Mm. 
It is? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. Mmm. Is it coffee chocolate? Mm hmm. Good fun. Mmm. Mm. What do you think? It's coffee good. chocolate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. I hope you enjoy this video. Bye.